Yo, what up, geeks? Another episode of Global Geek Art in Depth. Today, I'm joined by some of the best guys in the world. I got my buddy, Eric Olson. How you doing today? Hey, good, man. What's up? We have Adam. What's up, Adam? All good. How are you, mate? Doing pretty good. And somebody you guys haven't seen on video before. We got Michael Holsey. What's up, man? What up, what up? <laughs> so Can we get the geek art on? I'm excited for this episode. So, I am telling you guys right off the bat, make sure to like and subscribe. No, actually, seriously, like and subscribe. Do it. Do it now. But, Do it now. to be serious, so, we've been talking about this competition a lot. And I really want to emphasize us doing this competition and how much it means to the group and to get your guys' participation. This competition does nothing for us, honestly. It really doesn't. This is all for you guys. We want to make sure you that you enjoy your time being in the group. So we're doing the competition. If you don't know where it's at, you go to your phone. You look at where it says announcements. See, there's this little red page right there at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You share your photo. And then you swipe it, and it shows all of the competition entries thus far. Okay? So, nice. our art that we're going to be showing off today is all going to be people from the competition. Except for these guys right here. They're the honorable mentions who haven't posted this art in the competition. So this is stuff that's just being shared because I liked it and it looked pretty. That one looks unfinished. <laughs> <laughs> it does. I think they, I think he's going to put more detail in it. <laughs> Probably. But that's just the way this is going to go, guys. So let's go ahead. I'm pretty sure all of our honorable mentions have been shown all the way through thus far. As amazing as they are, I do love every single one of them, especially that one right there. And that one. That Except one. that's Daniel. That's so, cool. you know. Let's go ahead. I do like yeah. <laughs> Dude, he makes me so jealous every single time. For real. I've asked him like how he does those colors, dude. And I'm like, dude, how do you do that? It's like I just I just look and I randomly put stuff. I'm like, oh okay. <laughs> wow. He 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 drives me crazy. All right, let's go ahead. Let's jump into our first person for the day. So our first featured artist, Jiraisu Kun, with this mint Super Saiyan Goku. It's badass. I like that. I, I love them. I like the hair. I really like the hair. Yeah, I like how the skin tone, like oh. like a, almost yeah. like a real pale. Yeah, real kind of like real like almost like a. I just not, want to sound morbid, but like a dead, like a dead like a dead skin. But then the, the hair it makes the hair stand out more. It's almost like a Tim Burton, but the anime style of DBD. Okay. Mm. We're That's what it like the colors, like the, the colors and stuff. It's it's definitely not your normal colors that you see in Dragon Ball. You got the darker blue, and the purple sky. The purple the, sky is the purple pretty sky, different. Yeah. I'm that just makes, that, that, make, that makes wow. everything else pop. Yeah, for sure. I like it. It's really good. You were saying, Eric? <laughs> oh. Thing that I, I wanted on the shirt with uh, something on the side, like some sort of quote from Dragon Ball in Japanese on the side. Like I can just I can just picture it already. Like the paper it's on, the color, like that color shirt right there. I can see it. I like. Oh. I, I just really I really love how put Goku's like who's you got put like the alpha and the omega right there. Yeah, sure. Whatever it is, I just want it. I just want it on a shirt. I like it. Okay. I like it. it's good. Good job. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. So the next person we have is someone I don't think has ever been featured in video before. Michael Overfield with his forms of Goku. <coughs> it looks really good. Yeah, it does. I love it. I love uh I love the white. Depth in it. Like how it's depth. 
to it. Each mm-hmm. one is farther back in it. And he actually made it look that way to where it's three dimensional. It looks fucking bad. Yeah. I mean, freaking badass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> freaking badass. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I know. I, I, I just, I just <laughs> love the, I just love the white around the Goku in, in the bottom left. Yeah, and it kind of, kind of separates it, and then just the shading. I mean, like I said, the the Super Saiyan God Goku and the Kid Goku. It just the lighting effects in the hair. It just, it just, yeah, it's just really good. Yeah, I like it, oh. Eric. What do you think? I uh. I really like uh, the Super Saiyan God, um, and I also really, really like Super Saiyan 3. Uh, they're just really sticking out to me. Also, Kid Goku is yeah. looking but uh But, yeah, this is overall just incredible. It's like the, the, the eyes of the Super Saiyan 3 is spot on. I mean, everything's spot on, but that little expression from the, the Kid Goku, you know, the, the kind of, you know... Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry guys, had a quick uh, technical difficulty. Now we're back. I don't remember where we left off. Um, you know, my my thing with this piece is, I love all seeing the different forms of Goku. You know, it's always amazing to remember where Goku started in the story, mm. and just how far he's come is just an amazing thing. Uh, I really do like something. I don't think anybody's talked about yet is how they incorporated the actual logos of Goku's symbol from yeah. starting out in yeah. you know the turtle school with Master Roshi up to King Kai's logo on his back. If only he would have put in Whis's symbol like over in the corner, I feel like yeah. that would have just like but been mint. I also also I also like how I like Super Saiyan 4, but I also like how he's kind of kept it as like a, the, the Z Can and Super. As possible. It's, yeah, <laughs> you know, but yeah, it's, 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 I, I really like it. I like how he's not gone too far with the with the blues and the rope and, you know, everything else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything just fits. It's really good. Agreed. So good job, Michael. I really like this, man. Keep it up. See you hopefully in the next video. So this next one, yes, it was here last week. However, the rules of this week's video was it had to be posted in the competition. So he did post this. It is in the competition because I said it had to be during the time frame. This doesn't have to be art that you do specifically for the competition. It just has to be art that you've done since like May 5th through May 24th. So as long as you do it, it's just posting it. That's all. That's the only key thing there is. So Carl Davies, man, you know we're going to give you love. Mad love all the time. Dude, He's he knocked out that Triple H piece and the Undertaker piece and CM Punk. Um, and Legion of Doom. Legion of Doom. Like... Dude posts so many pieces a week. He makes me jealous. He does. Yeah. And they look airbrushed. It's a really good job. But it's all, like they, they, look, they look airbrushed. Right? I like that. But it's all digital, which is just fantastic. I need to learn how to do this digital crap. I need to get me a computer. Yeah. I've, I've got me a tablet with a pen, but I still can't learn. Yeah, you should get yeah. a tablet, but I'm not sure what tablet would be best to get. If you should get an Android or if you should get, like, an Apple. But Apple's really not that great, in my opinion. No, it's not that great. <laughs> if I was you, I'd get the same as me. I'd get a Samsung <laughs> Tab all... S Lite. Guys. <laughs> I'd, get, right. I'd get a Samsung. I'd get a Samsung Tab no. S Lite. No, you don't want that because of the, because of the aspect ratio. The, the uh, I like a piece of paper. Uh, you, you, you need a Samsung tab. You know, no, that's, this. that's not a fact. <laughs> Inside joke, I've been arguing with this guy all week long between Apple and Samsung, so. Oh, man. He even had Adam in on it, trying to double Apple, team on App, uh, Apple's Apple's in the past, you know, Android's the future. Yeah, like the Android 17 and 18. 
Uh, moving on. Yay. Our next entry is Mr. Carlos Crick. Dude does some amazing colors when it comes to Super Saiyan Blue. Just going to say that right oh. off the bat. I love the designs Eric. of the... Eric? <laughs> Go ahead. I already spoke. You just love the designs? <laughs> that's all you're going to say? Yeah, I really like the characters. That's all I had to say for that. Okay. <laughs> Right. Yeah, because I think I think I think well, we did this last week as well. So Yeah, we were yeah, gonna feature we were like gonna the, feature the, this the, one. The, but uh yeah. we didn't think it was done yet because he, he has these buildings in the background which he yeah. really, really should do some more with because this is a phenomenal piece. Yeah. I would love to see it fully background. Yeah. Preferably before the twenty fourth for the tournament, Carlos. So get it done. Yeah, it's your only warning. <laughs> like it's it's a fantastic piece on its own, but like oh yeah, he's got the he's got the skyscrapers back there. Just fill them in. I feel like it would just be that little bit extra that just really bring this out even more. Oh yeah, like I it looks clean though. It really does look really clean. Mm -hmm. Like even zooming in, man, I like. I like the shading on like Goku's arm, like how how he did that reddish look instead of like the tan brown that normally is used. Do you do you, do you think that, obviously in that pose in that pose because they're kind of clashing? Do you think it will? Do you think he will add some sort of aura, or do you think it will, it will add some sort of white lighting effects to the hair, or like like the lighting to the to the outfits? I think it's possible, but you know what? Honestly, I don't think it's necessary. I think no. I think if you put the aura, it would make it too busy. Mm. And there are a lot of times in Dragon Ball fights when they don't actually have the aura around them while they're fighting. So because it leaks out. Yeah, they learn that from Whis. <laughs> right. So you know, hmm. I can see where this piece could be like nearly done like right as it is so i'm looking at this mm -hmm. i don't know if posing what carlos is like either trying to convey or about to do here but i'm looking at this and if you just took some white circling and put it around the guy uh, well vegeta and goku and then in the background you put some lines going in one direction like you would be lines like, would make yeah. it look like fighting mm -hmm. At yeah. extreme pace. Yeah. Oh yeah, see that? They can put like, you just put a little bit of blue in there or something. I don't know. Like, oh man. Yeah. I, but I kind of now, now that I like think about that, like that's just what I envision with it. It's it's absolutely phenomenal. No, I, and like I said, I think it's a great piece as it is. But he 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 hinted that little bit in the back. I just I just want to see it now. Mm. So yeah, because right. I, I I remember commenting on on this post. And I said, "Is there any kind of background?" And he said, "It's going to be a city, city background." But oh, like I said, I'm not seeing him. Whether he's working on it, I, I don't but, know. You know, but... this is what he posted. That's what I'm saying. This, this is what he posted for the tournament. So that's what we're uh, reviewing today. So let's go ahead. Let's check out who's next. All right. So the next one's from our dude Jamie, with. His take on what's going to maybe end up as Hakai Vegeta. I don't know. I have, I have, I'm have. interested to see what Vegeta's going to turn into here. Or if he's even going to get a new form. I don't know. Yeah. But this is a good drawing. It is. I like it. It really it is. is. fire. I, I like, like it. the purple. Purple and, pur purple and pink combination is great. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it totally It's awesome. I love this piece so much. I want it. <laughs> Jamie, this is my favorite piece of yours. And I I feel like I keep saying that about your stuff, which is, well, says one thing, but no, like, this is legit. I just love the color scheme here. I'm a sucker for pinks and blues and, like, this right here is it. And Vegeta. <laughs> 
Vegeta. I I really do love it. Um, everything from the aura, the change in the hair. I, I gotta say, I am absolutely in love with the Hakai sphere, though. That sphere looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. So, and, he, and 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 even the the pink and the purple highlights in, in his fingertips. Yeah. You know, f- oh. f- for the actual orb. No. Yeah. It's uh, it's some beautiful work, man. We enjoy it. I love I, it. I love it. Um, I can't I wait to see it. what kind of, what he keeps turning out here. So, let's go ahead and check out our next contestant. So our next member is Saquon Ellison. I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, Ahsoka's looking good. Oh, for sure. She, 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 she's glowing. She's glowing. Quite literally. Yeah. I, I, I tried to get it, my picture to glow like that, and I couldn't do it. That's nice. I like that. It's just superb. Yeah, and even even the um, the reflection of the lightsaber, the greens in in, in the, the head, in the side of the head. I'm just curious oh. is is that her like is that supposed to be hair or is it like tentacles on her head? How I think it's tentacles. Okay, I'm just just curious. Not sure. Definitely, I, I think it's tentacles. I think it's tentacles. Yeah, hmm. gotta be. I mean, either way, it looks beautiful. I, I, I love it. Um, Ahsoka is one of those characters where it's like it was kind of cool because you saw her in the Clone Wars like TV show, and all of a sudden it's like, yeah. what, fifteen years later, here she is showing up in the Mandalorian. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Eric, what do you think on this one? Um, I really like the colors and whatnot, um, and the character design is well done. I don't know too much about this character at all, to be honest, but uh, the piece is great. Uh, like you guys said, like that's glowing right there. It really, really is. Like, yeah. So, I'll... Yeah. all right, good job, Saquon. Let's go ahead and check out the next person. Next contestant. And next up, we got this little chibi dragon from Frank. Oh, I like pretty cute. It is so adorable. It, it reminds cute. me of like a red version of Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's true. It's like it's like simple, but that's all it needs to be. Mm-hmm. It's effective. Like, it's simple but effective. Yeah. Dragon specifically, or is it just a dragon that Frank made? I think it's just a dragon that Frank made. Yeah. Very good. It's great. Yeah. You know what? It, it's it's simple, and for that little style that he's got going on for the chibis, it it's perfect. It's absolutely oh, yeah. perfect. I like it. I like dragons though, and I also like red, so I'm a little biased. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and check out the next guy. Our next featured artist is Justin Tovar with his black and white Goten and Trunks Patara Fusion. Looks good. I like it. I love how we get different. Good shading. It's freaking amazing. Me and him went at it one time in the uh, the Dragon Ball art round. We did uh, Boo. Boo. It was pretty good. It was it was a good tough head to head one, man. <laughs> He's a good artist. He is. You know the thing I never knew about him as an artist is all of his stuff is huge. Like, yeah, can you, you tell always, me about yeah, this. Big pieces. This piece is, um, it's like two foot tall. Right. Yeah, he's a big paper. (laughs) I remember I faced him one time, and we both 
since he used giant paper, I was like, I'll use giant paper. And he beat me by, I think he beat me by like one vote in the last like 15 minutes of the thing. And I was like, but, um, that was, that was a fun piece. That was like a go to or something, but yeah, he's, he's a great artist. Absolutely great. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's, he's showing me some of his other stuff. He is a great artist. Um, I like to see him come up with, you know, since he he does such great work, but I always see him doing like really good Dragon Ball pieces, but I don't really see him come up with anything that's like how to put it. I want to see Dragon him Ball. go completely off the rails. Do do yeah. something non-Dragon Ball. Do something like completely original and see what he'd come up with. Just cuz I feel like he could kill it. I really do. Oh yeah, um, definitely. But yeah, just 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 the fact of like that that right there. I'm sitting, you know, Grant. I'm looking at a, a picture that's only like you know three to four inches tall, but it's two foot tall in in real life. I'm like, I don't yeah. know if I could get my detail to look that good. But then again, I do camp big canvas paintings all the time, so I don't know. Well, well, <laughs> the, 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 like like you said to me earlier that. You didn't realize that a lot of my pieces were that that big, right? You know, so it's people post things and they, they could be so big you just don't know because when they post them, you're like, it's a picture, but you don't realize how big it can be. Or if you're like Daniel Rios, yeah, <laughs> yeah, his pictures beautiful. are actually only like six inches, like yeah. right? Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, he does it's, like it's, eight his by pictures ten. like two in. They're like two inches like that. They're like two inches. <laughs> Not that big. And he does them. What were you saying, Eric? <laughs> oh, no. I was just saying, no. Uh, Daniel's, like, they're like eight by tens. They're small. Yeah. Or, like, I think sometimes he does five by sevens. He's, like, and that's, that's just as tough. He's done some small pieces out there. I'm, I know that. That's why he's so quick. Because he's got small things. <laughs> <gasps> Moving on. <laughs> So, our last person who is currently in the tournament is Michael. With his absolutely terrible dog trash, Goku. I know. Uh, it doesn't... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. This thing's sick. Like... <laughs> I'm not even going to kiss your ass just because you're on the pod. Like, no. <laughs> you know, I've got respect for you as an artist. We faced each other many times. Oh, yeah. We still got to have another rematch. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think we're like, I think I have one up on you right now. I think we're like, I think I'm like four and three against you. Yep. 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 We, we faced each other seven times. So, yeah, we'll, wow. we'll get on it. We'll get... It must be so uh, nice to have people challenge you. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon, Nobody's Brandon, ever taken it, me out. No, Bran, wouldn't it be nice to have people just to call me out and challenge me for something? Right? <laughs> yeah, must be real nice. Mm-hmm. Seven times, you know what I mean? <laughs> It'd be nice to get once. Most of them were in the other group, though. <laughs> yeah, we haven't done right. anyone in this group, actually. Maybe you should you fix that. One? Yeah. Hey, hey, Eric, Eric, that, that, that was a hint. That was a hint. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Be cool, whatever you want. Let's he wants it. He, want, he, he, he hey. wants to level it up. Hey. He wants to level it up 4 4. Hey, Eric, maybe you guys <laughs> should draw a dragon. Yes. A oh, Shenron. Man. <laughs> Shenron. You know, a, a, pred- a, predictive, a predictive text Shenron. <laughs> a predictive text Shenron. Okay. Yep. <laughs> We're going to do that, man. Or oh, oh, a pixelated Shenron. A pixelated oh, Shenron? That would be you interesting, know, actually. I've, I've only drawn Shenron one time ever. And it was on... It wasn't even just Shenron. It was on an attire for a Rob Van Dam that I made. It was yeah. awesome. But uh, wow. I did a, I would draw some Shenron. I did a cross-hatching Shenron. The one I did for the memorabilia thing for my mom. Uh, that was a lot of cross hatching on that thing. It took hours and hours. I can't even imagine. Wow, yeah, 
Yeah, I couldn't imagine doing that. <sighs> anyway, Michael, I love your shading. I I really like the colors that you did with this piece. Um, yeah. You got some. You got like your really bright colors around your aura, like with his gi. But yeah. Then shading the hair blue is like yeah. he almost looks half and half Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan Blue. Yeah. Mm. Well, he's catching the glow from the right. The, yeah. The ball of aura too. So I'm really and impressed you were able to. Oh, see, I'm so sorry. What you're not really seeing is there's a lot of green in there too. But like I said, my camera sucks. Oh, I was just going to say that I was really impressed that like you were able to mix the blue and uh, yellow without getting green. But like if yeah. you're going for green, it's pretty sick. Too. Yeah, there's actually green in it. I put green in it, but you can't see it in the picture. So <laughs> we're, we're using a uh, iPhone camera. Is that why? <laughs> yeah, you can't pick a lot of things up with their iPhone cameras. Yeah, maybe an iPhone. Hey. Oh man! All right, <laughs> that's all why right. you like Pro or some shit. Something that takes eight. Uh, 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 all right, guys. So that brings us to the end of our video. It has been a fantastic uh, episode. I love seeing your guys' art once again. I want to see more of you guys in this competition because there are so many of you fantastic artists and you're posting. Look, I'm looking at it right now. You guys posting art. Yeah. You're just not posting not in the competition. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what else, to, what else to say, you guys. You know, I know that there were some technical difficulties and people weren't seeing the announcements and I'm sorry for that. So that is why everything got postponed, but hopefully we can make up for that. Um, Everybody's art was good, though. It was. Everybody. Um, you know, as all as always, guys, um, go find us on TikTok. Um, find me on YouTube if you're not already subscribed to me. Um, find us in the Geek Art page if you are not already a geek artist. Uh, find us on Instagram. Pretty much anywhere. Like we're we're pretty well all over the place at this point. You're all over. So we got Broken Hearted Studios, uh, Bad Man Saying. I don't remember what yours was, Mike. <laughs> My, I don't. I don't have. One. Oh, mine's just uh, Mike Holsey three. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go find him number Post three. <laughs> <on there. laughs> so. As always, keep on being creative. As uh, my man Austin would say, peace, love, bubble gum. See you next yeah. time.